What is up everybody? It is Dan Kakish with Lethal Culture and welcome back to a brand new video. Today, we're gonna be getting right into the 240 and what we're about to do to it today. So I am super excited for today's video. Let's get right into it. All right guys, and if you guys are new to the channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, pull, turn post notifications on and check out our website at lethalculture.com. So as you guys know, the 240 has been down for a little while and we've been coming across some situations on why we haven't got it up and running. So a big problem right now is the whole front end of the car. The problem is, is that we needed to find a mount kit so we could get the radiator, the um, intakes, all that stuff mounted on. So what we're doing is we're actually ordering a kit specialized for this S chassis and this kit specifically for the headlights, it's for the radiator mounts, the intercooler, it's for everything that we need to mount and it's a whole kit. All we have to do is um, weld it on and um, something that we don't have currently at my house is a welder and that type of tools to do this kind of stuff. So I'm actually gonna be taking it to a shop that is going to be doing all this for me and tuning up the RB so it's fresh, you know, uh, flushing out all the oil out of the car, doing a couple oil changes to make sure we get all the gunk that's in the motor right now completely out of the car so it's nice and fresh. And something that I honestly changed my mind about a lot is I was planning on keeping uh, the theme of the car. I was going red and I decided to paint the air intake manifolds in turbo gold. And um, it was a while ago, so now I'm looking at the motor and I'm like, okay, we're really close to getting it up and running, but before I do that, I need to change the color of the car. The scheme that we're going for, it's good, but it's not exactly the scheme that I personally want to go with. So I'm going to be changing the colors of the motor, the valves, everything. I'm not going to say what color yet, but this color, I haven't seen it done inside of an engine bay. Personally, you guys might have, I have not. So this is going to be a really cool color. I'm super excited. So um, let's go and we're going to send it to the shop to get it painted today. I'm still thinking about getting another grill. I got a, uh, I got my mold already ready from this grill. Oh, that I got. Grill, jewelry, drugs, all oh, the bitches, pussy. Yeah. Whatever you fucking want, all this. That ain't feel all this shit. If you get the nose, sell it dope on the building track. If you got some chronic right now, smoke, keep a sack. Go and break a bitch. They come make your money, make it to you. If you got to be well, smoke a sack for me. If you get the nose, sell it dope on the building track. If you got some money right now, smoke it, you say, you know, we break a bitch, they come make your money, make it to you. Okay guys, update, we are almost there, just have to take off these two red valve covers and the turbo, and then we are all done. So now, so now I just got a trash bag and I started putting it on already. So we're just gonna put this over the motor. That way we don't have any dust, anything like that, come into our uh, inside of our valves. So we wanna keep it nice and clean and make sure nothing gets in there. That's super important. Okay guys, so here's all the parts that are getting painted. So after all this is painted, it's gonna change the whole look on this engine bay. So we're literally starting from scratch again on these colors. So I'm super excited. Let's see how these are gonna come up. All right guys, so I just dropped it off at a shop and I do wanna go over guys. This powder coat color that we're doing is not a normal color and it's very expensive. It's almost 50 to $60 per pound for this color. Regular powder coat is regularly like six to seven bucks per pound. So it's a big jump and it's really pricey. And he was telling me it's not something that he has ever done before. So even he's excited to do it, which is really cool. So this is gonna be a really cool end result for this color. So let's stay tuned and see what happens. What's up guys? So this is currently literally a week later. Finally, the 240 parts are done. I'm at the shop and now it is time to finally pick them up. So let's go grab them. Oh my god! 
Holy shit. Dude, this looks crazy. Holy shit. That is a crazy color. Wow. It looks like a holographic kind of. Yeah, yeah. It looks insane. Oh my god. Yeah, <laughs> I'm, I'm impressed, bro. What, what do you think? Like, for your first time doing this color, you liked it? Oh, yeah. Pretty cool? Pretty dope. So, how much was it, like, just for the powder itself? It was like 150 bucks just for the powder. Normal black would have been like 20 bucks. Yeah. Fuck. Yeah, I like it. These colors look insane, guys. Guys, they are all wrapped up right here, and I'm putting them in the trunk. I'm gonna put like, you know, like I have some of my hoodies. I'm just gonna put them in between so they don't fall and get all messed up. As we're with Slowbo, he just pulled up to my house. He's looking at the 240 parts. And Slowbo, what do you think? Uh, we'll get one of the valve covers. Okay. Just to. Uh, Let, let's honestly, sure. let's just take it outside. Let's go to the light. Christmas. It's like unboxing a Christmas gift. Hold on, let me get this way. Okay. Here, we're not gonna take too much off of it. So we'll be able to see. Whoa, look at that. It's like, um, it kind of looks like the psychedelic wrap, but this is obviously not a wrap. This is actually a power coat. Uh, yeah. This is uh, City Night Lights. City Night Lights, right? I believe it's called City Night Lights. But this looks uh, pretty cool. It you looks know, it's insane. It's gonna go amazing with the black block and everything. And uh, so we still have a lot more JDM parts that we're gonna add. So this is Done. just uh, spice it up a little bit. Okay, that's Lobo's reaction now. We are going to put this all on the next day. We are back and it is time to start putting everything on the RB. We picked all the parts up. They look so amazing and you guys already know we're happy with it. Um, it is so cold right now, by the way. I'm wearing gloves. I got my mechanic shirt on over my hoodie. Um, I'm ready to go. <laughs> we got like the warm shoes. These shoes are really warm. They have like comfy stuff. Okay, anyways, I'm getting off track. Um, this is covered up. And the first thing that we're gonna start doing is I'm gonna be taking this off. And as you guys see, you guys see all this is RGB to hold everything. So I'm gonna get a razor blade. And first thing is that we're gonna do is we're gonna take all this off. So let's do it. I like how it's dark and then the engine bay is white. Helps this color pop up even more. It looks really clean. Okay, look. Look at this. Look at this. This is the RGB. This is some JDM shit right here. Look at this. That's our RGB that we're using on this motor. It's literally in freaking, look, it's in Japanese. Tell me that's not sick. Looks, I know, it looks like toothpaste, but it's not toothpaste. Okay. Can we brush our teeth with this? This is basically, like uh, it's to hold everything. This is like a gasket. We're forming a gasket so there won't be any leaks, any oil, nothing like that. So we're gonna use this to hold everything. I'm smelling it. How good does it smell? It smells like Japan. <laughs> it smells like Japan. Badass. Way better than before. Holy shit. This looks insane. Dude. This looks insane. Guys, this looks insane. What the fuck? Oh my god. Um, <laughs> Stop it. What do you got there? What do you got there? The candy? <laughs> got some candy? Hey, what do you got there? Hey. Stop it. Hey. 
Hey. Stop. <laughs> the extra. All right, there we go. These are extra parts. I got a guy left me. Turbo and valve cover parts. Okay. Now it's these two big boys. There's no gasket that goes in between that? There is. The gasket in, is in already. Oh, you already installed yeah. it? Oh, okay. Yeah, it's there. And then you... These are all new gaskets and everything already, no? Yeah. So now I see the gaps. So this part exactly is the... This is the exhaust manifold, no? Is this stock exhaust manifold? Yeah, stock exhaust manifold. So that's stock. You guys want to know what happens when you own a 240? and it never runs and it's been parked in the garage for a long time but you're just trying to simp in the car don't worry Dan has you covered this is what you do please explain to me why there's a bottle of Crown Royal in here <laughs> Are you, bro is everything okay yeah man it's really Bro, why was this in the car, bro? Why was this in you the car? You know what, bro? Sometimes I just get sad. I don't want to, uh, you know, do my thing in there, man. Is, is this going to help the, the car start running again? Does, does the chicken look good? It does. It does? Uh, after I finished my protein pancakes, I started making chicken. I, I think I, I want I want to see the chicken. You know what? Here you go. Oh, hey. fuck. Oh, sorry. Bro. No, you're not going to go fucking film the chicken. Fuck yeah, you. you are, bro. Just come. Tell us, bro. Come with the chicken, bro. I can't. I can't. I'll take it. I'll take it. <laughs> you're taking it, It's already recording, bro. Go ahead and uh, midway. I like mine a little well done. Looking nice and tender. Some uh, some crispy ones right there, as you can see. Looking good though. Juicy. Good for you, dog. Good for you and your fucking chip. Thank you. Better see my chicken in the YouTube video. <laughs> It's not you guys buy a 240. Everything uh doesn't fall apart. No, it does not. Most reliable car on earth. Bulletproof. Alright. Yeah. I know impressions on the whole install. This came out amazing. I'm super happy with it. This color is sick. The exhaust manifold is not all rusty and ugly anymore. Turbo looks amazing. Everything looks way more fresh and redone, and I'm very, very happy with it. So now we're gonna uh, come back in the morning, and we're gonna get a whole cinematic video of it shining in the sunlight and everything. So now we're gonna get to that. What's up, guys? I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. This is how it's looking right now. The sun isn't hitting it yet because, as you can see, there's shade, sun. It's not reaching in the garage yet, but. Hope you guys saw enough footage. I mean, we'll get more footage and all that of you guys so you guys can see it during the daylight, sunlight, all that stuff. So don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Follow us at Lead the Culture on IG. And remember, we're hosting Cars and Coffees every last Sunday of the month. So come out to those. Info on that is on our Instagrams. Other than that, thank you guys so much for watching as always. And peace out. We're back with more videos.
Smoking and living large with this. Do it for you, gone bitch.